Welcome back to Zacco. Have you ever received blood from a donor? Know someone who has. Well, blood transfusions are one of the most commonly performed medical procedures. It involves the transfer of blood or blood components from a donor to a recipient. Blood transfusions are used to treat various conditions such as anemia, bleeding disorders, and in some instances, even cancer. While blood transfusions are generally safe, there's a potential risk of adverse reactions or side effects that can occur during or after the transfusion. These reactions can range from mild to severe and require prompt management to ensure patient safety and well-being. In addition, there are a set of safety requirements that must be applied to reduce the possibility of a transfusion reaction. Let's dive into the journey of blood transfusion reactions and what we can do to prevent them. First, let's familiarize ourselves with the basic elements of blood. In any blood type, we have a liquid portion and a solid portion. The liquid portion is known as plasma, while the solid portion consists of red blood cells and platelets. Now, consequently, there are three main types of blood transfusions. Plasma transfusions, red blood cell transfusions, and platelet cell transfusions. Plasma transfusions involve the administration of the liquid component of blood that carries essential proteins and substances necessary for overall health. Red blood cell transfusions are used to increase the concentration of hemoglobin and iron in the blood, thus increasing oxygen levels in the blood. These transfusions are primarily for conditions such as anemia and iron deficiency. While platelet cell transfusions are crucial in preventing excessive blood loss and are commonly required by individuals with low platelet counts due to conditions like leukemia. Any and every medical procedure carries its risks, and so is the case with blood transfusions. Here is a scenario. You've gone to see your physician about these recent frequent fainting spells you've been having. You know you are anemic, but you haven't followed the doctor's orders from your last few visits. Your doctor sees your new blood work and realizes your hemoglobin is fatally low. After discussing your current medical situation and options, your physician requests a blood transfusion along with a blood typing and cross-matching request. After being admitted into the hospital, you finally receive the blood as requested by your physician. However, within 10 minutes of starting the transfusion, you start to notice that your arms have become extremely itchy and you are having trouble breathing, and for some reason, your back suddenly hurts quite a bit. You finally notify the nurse who immediately stops the transfusion. What you've just experienced is a blood transfusion reaction. Now, EU, you may ask yourself what causes this reaction? It is essential to understand different types of reactions to identify and manage them appropriately. Let's briefly discuss the causes and then discuss the solutions later on in this video. One of the causes of blood transfusion reactions is the incompatibility between the recipient's antibodies and the donor's red blood cells. In this case, the recipient's body recognizes the donor's cells as a threat and begins to attack it. Essentially, this is why blood matching and cross-typing are done. However, sometimes these tests can be misleading. The storage and validity of reagents can have an impact on the result. The storage of blood for prolonged periods of time and under improper storage practices can also alter the blood. A misread result can also be the cause. Avoiding and preventing all of these causes can be easily done and would eventually save the patient from unnecessary symptoms and discomfort. Another reason for blood transfusion reactions is the recipient's immune response to the donor's white blood cells and other immunological components such as cytokines. These products are released during the transfusion usually due to prolonged improper storage of blood products. Other reasons for these reactions include allergic or anaphylactic reactions, volume overload reactions or reactions due to bacterial contamination. Allergic or anaphylactic reactions are somewhat similar to the incompatibility response. 
However, the sensitivity or incompatibility is not towards cells, but rather towards specific proteins found in the donor's blood. Volume overload reactions are simply due to transfusing an excess volume of blood or fluid, while bacterial contamination reactions are usually due to contamination of donor blood by bacteria or their byproducts. Keep in mind that blood transfusion reactions can occur during or after the transfusion. The severity of the reactions can range from mild to life-threatening. Symptoms of these reactions include fever, chills, chest pain, shortness of breath, back pain, dark urine, nausea, swelling, etc. More severe symptoms include cardiovascular collapse and even acute respiratory distress. As previously stated, the management and treatment of these reactions depend on identifying the cause. This must be done as quickly as possible. However, the first thing that must be done is to stop the transfusion immediately and then begin investigating the cause. Certain quality assurance techniques are implemented to prevent these transfusion reactions. Let's divide them based on the causes. If the cause was due to incompatibility, either cell or cytokine, or even an allergic reaction, then ensuring proper blood typing and cross-matching are absolutely necessary in obtaining a true result. This includes the proper drawing and storage of blood, the proper storage of reagents, and frequent checks on the validity of those reagents. Double-checking the results by two different lab technicians also plays a vital role. These steps should be detailed in a facility's protocols and guidelines to ensure maximal patient safety. If the cause was due to volume overload, then the physician would have to ensure their calculations are meticulous. This would require a full comprehensive review of the patient's complete blood count, or CBC, along with monitoring the patient's fluid levels and overall condition. This is done before, during, and after the transfusion. Certain documents placed and utilized in these precious moments ensure that any possible excess blood that may be given or is given is dealt with before causing severe symptoms. And finally, if the cause was due to bacterial contamination, then a protocol identifying the process of donor blood testing must be put into place and implemented before using donor blood. This goes hand in hand with proper storage of blood when not in use. Blood storage is a crucial aspect of transfusion medicine. As previously discussed, one of the main recurring causes of blood transfusion reactions is the improper storage of blood. When blood is collected, it is stored in a plastic bag filled with a sugar solution and kept at a temperature of 4 degrees Celsius. This storage period can last up to 42 days, during which the red blood cells undergo significant changes. These changes occur due to the metabolic activity of the red blood cells without the presence of waste disposal systems like the kidneys or liver. As a result, the stored red blood cells are exposed to increasing levels of waste products, such as lactate, leading to the alteration of the cells. Knowing this, the first-in, first-out principle can be applied to transfusion practices where patients receive the oldest compatible blood unit first when pairing it with a reduction in the maximum shelf life along with subsequent monitoring devices and protocols, the incidence of these reactions can be reduced dramatically. We sincerely hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to leave any suggestions, requests, or questions in the comments section or send us a message. To learn more about Zacco, visit our website www.zacco-sa.com or email us at admin at zacco-sa.com. WhatsApp or call us at 9665654045419 to reach our experts for assistance in accreditation matters. Follow us on social media, where we post tips, tricks, and motivation for you on a regular basis. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be notified of our videos when we post them. Zacco the power of expert consultations in the palm of your hands.